Hey everybody, this is Tim Biot and I'm back with another third party Transformers video review. This time I have Toy World's TWC05. Uh, it's going to be kind of out of order here because the, uh, the pieces have actually been released out of order. This is actually Shovel right here, also known as Scrapper. Real quickly, I'm going to show you the outside of the box. Uh, there's not much to it. This is the uh, the new style that Toy World's been doing for a while now, where it's uh, kind of a, a flat box that you can open up. Um, so on the front of it, we have um, Shovel right here uh, in his robot form. Nice artwork right here, and uh, I guess something that resembles Cybertron down here. Uh, you come to the side, and this is part of the artwork. You're going to be able to... Um, stack all the boxes next to each other and they're gonna make a picture of uh, of Devastator. I don't know exactly what they're calling them um, with this here. Um, some C or something. So you got the Toy World logo here. You got uh, not a lot of stuff here on the back. Just some warning labels. Um, some more pictures here. Looks like maybe a bit of Unicron or something. So, like I said, not a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, you got another picture right here on the top of what should be maybe Cybertron or something so uh, mainly everything is within the box so you open up the box and they're actually doing something new with these um, originally they've been doing all styrofoam uh, and these are actually doing uh, like a black type of foam uh, so which is really nice it's really thick so this is the figure in here and you can see all the different pieces. This is gun right here, and then uh, the wing assembly, the chest assembly, right here, and then the figure itself, right in here. So it's really nice that they're doing away with the uh, with the white star foam. They're going to this. Uh, I know my wife didn't really like it whenever I was opening these. Um, but hey, I want to thank my friend uh, Drunken Jack. He uh, he's the one that picked these up and he's allowing me to bring these uh, to you. I know he done he he's already done his reviews on the figures that he has uh, so far. So. Um, I'll be getting a few at a time from him and uh, and, and bringing you the uh, the videos also. Um, do go look at his uh, his videos. They are hilarious. Um, I've helped him shoot a few of them and stuff like that. So, uh, you know, give him some nice pointers. He's new at this. Uh, he's doing it off the CZE page. Um, but he has his own reviews. They're all titled with his name, so you should be able to find them real easy. I'll go ahead and I'll put a link in uh, my description so you can uh, check that out. But let me let me lower this camera down so you can see the figure itself. It's come out really yellow in my camera in my viewfinder here. Hopefully, it comes out all right in um, in post production. So um, here on uh, the picture here, we have uh, this in the, actually the instructions. So. Um, we have a little sticker here and then we have this envelope here and this is actually uh, what I assume is uh, just uh, rubber I guess adhesive type stuff that you could peel off and put on the bottom um, of probably the excavator part right here maybe some right here I don't know uh, basically it, it'll keep your figure from uh, slipping and sliding and stuff um, That's what that's for. Let me go ahead and get the instructions out. So it's pretty normal for the instructions. Um, uh, we got that on the front. You come here and you can see how to transform them. Uh, the the steps that you're supposed to take are in red here. And then how to combine them and then where to actually put him on uh, the combined mode. So. So according to the instructions, there are places where you can put all of his weapons. Um, apparently there's a hole right here, this screw hole right here, and you're supposed to be able to 
tab that in right there, but for the life of me, I cannot get that to stick, and it, it does not really stay very well. But uh, if you look right here, you're going to see two posts right there, and then there's two little holes right there. So you just kind of tab those on like that. Push down with a little bit of force, a little bit of force, and uh, that'll stay on there just like the original G1. And oh man, dude, I, I wish I had the kind of uh, cash flow that would allow me to buy these because these are very, very nice. They're uh, they're actually a masterpiece size, so they go really well with your masterpiece collection. Um, they have all rubber tires. Uh, I know with the uh, the the two figures that have treads, they're real working treads. They're not like a fake sculpted tread with a wheel underneath it. Um, they're real treads. I know that there's some issues. He's told me that there's some issues with those. Uh, maybe we'll get into that whenever I, I finally get my hands on those. But um, this figure right here, just uh, transforming it a few times, um, it's, it's a really nice figure. This bucket is very beefy it's very uh very large and then such these these pieces right here are a little sharp um but it has three parts or yeah three parts of articulation on that so you can bring it up right here then there's a bend right here and then there's another bend right here at the bucket portion so uh, you get a lot of uh a lot of movement out of that um, the tires roll very, very well. Um, I, I don't know. Uh, I guess, uh, it's pretty much it for the vehicle mode. So, for transformation, basically, you want to come here and take a look at this. You want to uh, mess with what are the arms first. So, uh, coming underneath here, you kind of pivot this like this. There's a tab and then a, um, a little notch right there so you untab that and then you bring this down and you see another tab right there the hand and then the hole in the middle of this portion right here so you bring those down like that and you do that for the other side just kind of pull and then twist down and then um, what you'll do is then focus on the uh, the legs so uh, first of all what you want to do is you want to grab this portion right here and flip this up and then flip it over and that actually tabs in you can see a hole right here and then a tab right there like that and uh, then you'll come here and you're going to untab this so this tabs into here and then it also tabs into this piece right here see right there and right there and then right here and right here All right. so uh, first of all, I forgot you need to split the legs apart. And then what you want to do then after that is you then bring this up like this. And then there's a hinge right here and you want to kind of push that around. Alright, so then once you do that, then you bring it out like that. And then you want to then kind of finagle this around. And then once that's here, then what you want to do is you kind of want to twist this like this, and bring this down, and you're going to, I think the easiest way that I found to do this is actually go like this. And you go like that and just put it in there like that. So then this right here, this is kind of the, um, it's not really a scary step, it just has a little bit of stress marking in there right here. Um, and, and there's not a lot of movement in, in with it of itself so you just push it like that and then you flip this around and then tab it into here so it kind of fills in that hole right there so then you just close that back up and then you close this back up so that's about it for, for the leg so then we go to the I don't know, you flip that out um, so then we go to the other leg do the same thing so pop that out then you go like that, flip this out, and then just real gingerly kind of rotate this stuff around, making sure that nothing's caught in there or in the way. Uh, we can flip the toe out. So we'll come back here again. Um, 
I said before, just go like that, because that's the easiest way to do it. They say to actually twist it to the side, and that, that makes a terrible noise. Um, but I find it's easier just to do this, just to kind of force it down, because there's a, you can see there's a few joints in there. There's one, two, three, four, maybe five joints in there. Um, so you just do that. Uh, close this panel back up. Lift this back up. Uh, you want to basically flip all this stuff out and then back like that. And uh, I think there is stress marks on this panel also, uh, just like on the other leg. So then you go and you bring that down like that. And take this bucket and work it down. And then, how did I have this? I had it like this. Yeah, like that. So, let me bring that up a little bit. So the bucket, whenever it's in... Um, kind of his... Uh, his vehicle mode is like this. So you just basically you want to bring this back. And then kind of collapse it in on itself right there. And then right there, too. Um... So it's going to be kind of like that. I don't know if I have it all the way. I don't have it all the way down. There we go. Like that. And like that. All right. So, um, for the arms here, you want to bring these back down. And then you want to, you'll swing these arms back like this. And then when it does that, then it gives it access to a channel in there. You see, you can lift it up and then move it back and then once you do that then basically there's another kind of you can see that tab right there you can then push that forward and it locks that arm into place so it's not going to fall back down All right, so then we'll do this with this side so you take this and swing this out lift it up and swing it back a little bit and then you just push this forward so that it locks all this stuff into place and it's not going to move. Alright, so now for the fists. I want to lift this panel up here. And just flip that around. Close that down. And then you have your fist here. And each one of the fingers is individually articulated at the knuckle and it's on a ball joint actually at the knuckle so like that and then right here this one is the one that I have problems with sometimes it gets stuck uh, rotate that flip out the fingers rotate out the thumb flip the panel down all right, and so for the head, you just flip this down, flip the head up, and then close it back again. All right, and that's it. That's it for the uh, for the transformation into robot mode. So he does have his gun, and if you notice that the gun has a round um, uh, handle on it, but it does have. If you look right here, you can see that there's a notch cut into it, and if you look onto the hand, there's a um, if you look like that, you can see that there's a peg. So you just... There, you just have it onto the hand. Like that. And it holds very well. Like, the thumb's not even holding it. Uh, basically, it's just locked into, uh, into the hand. And then you just rotate the fingers around it. And then... Uh, this portion right here it has some weird things that it can do so you have extensions so that it extends out it can also fold up like this uh, which makes it kind of look like a shield but there's no real way to uh, to say attach it to the arm or something I, I thought about maybe flipping it out like this and then there's a peg right here 
and he has a hole right here but you know, if you clip it in there then it, it's not a tight fit and it rotates around there's no other place to clip it in it looks like there's a clip there but there's no place to clip it into you see so I don't know I thought it would have been a good idea if that would have been a shield type type of gun type thing because it has this right here but no so just close that and set that to the side so um, just a really quick size comparison so here's mp10 standing next to him because he does uh, fit in line with the MP, mp sized figures and then here is a um, uh, side swipe here so you have all those So he is, he is a pretty big figure here. Um, he's not as big as, like, say, Optimus, but he's not as small as, say, Sideswipe. So he's kind of an in-between figure. Um, he looks like he's about the same size as, like, Starscream. Um, something like that. Uh, Soundwave is about as tall as, as Optimus here. So, um, yeah, about the same size as, as like, say, Starscream. So... All right, so to uh, transform him into his limb mode, because uh, I don't really know how long it's going to take. I don't know if uh, if my friend's going to let me borrow him all again to to show you a uh, a combined video. Um, I'm not really sure. I'll probably have to go over to his house and do a combined video, but um, I'll go ahead and show you how it transforms, what it looks like, how tall it is, and such. Um, so for the gun, we just want to take the gun out of his arm, and we want to get him back into, uh, basically vehicle mode. So, just give me a second here, I'm going to transform him back. Something's blowing around outside. You can probably hear it on the camera. Uh, it's really, really loud. <clears throat> it's really windy right now. I just suggest that you be careful with these. Um, because this one's not uh, stressed, but this one is right here. So, for some reason, I don't know. Um, just be careful. Like I've always said with any third-party figure, be careful with it. Um, some of the tolerances aren't as good as, as some other figures and stuff. So, just be aware of that when you're when you're messing around with them. He's a little loose um, right here. I think it would have been uh, beneficial to have a um, um, to have a ratcheting joint in the uh, in the hips because going out like this, it's not ratcheting either. It's just ratcheting in the knees. So you just have friction joints basically right there. So when you close this together, you want to. Put your finger in here to hold this panel up so when you close this 
you can actually push that panel up into this one right here so the under panel and you can um, click them together it keeps the uh, this portion from separating from what is the foot um, so then take this flip this around this will tab into there and then uh, we'll just repeat it onto this foot and you can kind of tell that I'm not really rushing uh, with transforming this even though I know how to transform it I'm not really rushing because it's uh, it's a third party figure they kind of uh, they demand a little bit more respect than say a uh, Combiner Wars figure or something so there we go alright all right, now push them together. Um, now, what you want to do from this point on, um, I guess I really didn't need to fold that up. You're going to fold this back down and clip this. So we're almost into robot mode, but not quite. It's a little bit different here. So then what we'll do is uh, this has to... Um, you'll see that there's some tabs right here, what looks like tabs right here, and then there's some holes that are right there, and you want to push those into there so that they're locked. And it's nice that they have uh, these skirts that rise and stuff, but they, the front and back skirts, but they're kind of getting in the way sometimes. So you see this little notch right there? There's a uh, place where you can clip it in right there. Let me flip it over. Oh, almost done. Almost got it. So you have that right there. Um, almost done. There's one last thing. Come on. Um, you can actually take this. Once you have this all, there we go, like that. Um, so once you have this in here, then you can take these wheels and you can lower them down. and they kind of lock into place here and I guess that's uh, to kind of give it access to these right here I'm assuming that something goes around and clamps onto those uh, to join with um, uh, what is long haul in this set so um, I think that stays like that. Yeah, I think it's a little bit better like this because it uh, then locks into there and you don't have a, a fold, a fold forward. So I think it's supposed to be like that. And here, let me bring in uh, MP10 again so you can just see the size of it. So that's a pretty big foot. Um, but know that this is where basically the knee is going to be. So, I wish I had one of the shuriken feet so we could uh, compare it to that, but I don't have that one either. Um, so, yeah, I'll go ahead and uh, bring it back to uh, his vehicle mode real quick because that, that doesn't take too long. Uh, swing these wheels back again. this oh yeah we have to untab all this and bring this back up Right. Bring these 
back down and there we are back to uh, square one again so all right so let me bring this camera back down all right so yeah that'll be it for this video um, once again I want to thank my friend uh, drunken Jack for allowing me to uh, to borrow this figure from him um, if you're wanting to know where we actually got these at we actually got these at the grand opening of um, Toy Dojo's actual uh, brick and mortar store he actually opened a store in Austin uh, we were there he actually had these figures there uh, he had actually had, had the first four I know that uh, some places had um, um, the other two the the two arms but he actually had the the two feet so uh, Jack went ahead and picked those up um, just because that's the first time he'd ever seen those so uh, hopefully he'll have those other two for us really soon I don't know if he has it on his website or not uh, last time I checked I checked like right after um, we went and picked these up which was about a month ago uh, to tell you how long that was and he did not have them on his website I, I know that he uh, when I talked to him um, a while back he said that he was having issues with uh, one of his distributors and wasn't able to get the Toy World stuff and then all of a sudden he had some Toy World stuff uh, apparently he got a new distributor so I don't know if he's gonna have this on the website or not uh, but he'll have everything else uh, that you need for your Transformers needs so uh, the guy is uh, he's phenomenal he's good uh, you know he doesn't order as much stuff as some of those other big online retailers so uh, most of the time you have to get in there kind of early to pre-order your stuff because he sells out pretty quick um, but hey thanks for watching this video don't forget to watch all of my other videos uh, check out Drunken, Drunken Jack's videos uh, like I said they are hilarious and don't forget to uh, follow me on Facebook and also on Twitter this has been Tambiota and I'll see you guys next time